Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication, a company of UC collaboration. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how to prepare Cisco iOS router as a voice XML gateway and, how, and also prepare a media server for UCC and CVP. Now the first thing we're going to do is log into CVP server and verify the configuration we need for the ECC to communicate with the CVP server. So you can log into CVP directly from either CVP or from the ICM server depending on how you set it up. Now, based on our configuration, when a CVP will, if you look at the network VRU configuration that we did in the previous lab, what's going to happen is you have on the CVP, there is two labels that we have. Both labels, one coming from the call manager, one coming from the CVP. And both label will return this label called 49999. When this label 49999 is actually sent back to the CVP, what the CVP needs to do is to send that call directly to the uh, what do you call ECC, so, sorry, uh, the router, the VXML router. So in this case, this is our router that we're going to work on. Now I'll come back to the router in a minute. First of all, let's configure. Let's take a look at the configuration under Device Management. You go to Cisco CVP Unified CVP Call Server. select the call server that you want to work on now go to the ICM now if you look again like I said if you take a look at our uh, configuration that the VRU is five digit five digit in length and therefore the maximum length of DNIS is also set to five digit the port number remains same that is the port number that we're using in the PG next step is to go to CVP yeah, sorry, SIP. now in SIP what we're going to do we're going to create um, a static route a static route that says that if any call that comes into CVP with 49999 that is the label we need to send this call to this particular IP address that you see right there that is the IP address of this HQ router that we're talking about right there so that is the IP address of this router now second is extension uh, range of extension so all my agent phone as you can see the phone that is about to register uh, that is not the agent phone that is actually user so let me register an agent phone 